Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul and back in April of 2015, I made a video explaining the entire process I go through to make all my YouTube videos. But recently, I've been seeing a ton of requests in the comments to make another one, so here it is. This is How I Make My Videos 2016 Edition. Now I think what you'll see is that the actual process I go through to make a video hasn't really changed that much in the past two years. But what has changed is my efficiency. I think I can make videos a lot faster and better now. And also my equipment has seen a lot of upgrades since then. So the basic process is just script, film A roll, film B roll, and edit. And I think that applies to about 95% of all my videos. So like I said, scripting comes first. And personally, I'm a really big fan of scripting. It just helps me get all my ideas down and I can make sure I go into all the topics that I wanted to cover. So after scripting comes A roll, the part of the video where I actually film myself talking to the camera just like I'm doing right now. But before filming A roll, I need to set up all my equipment. First I set up my lights which used to be umbrella lights but have recently been upgraded to limo studio softboxes with 4 sockets each. And by the way, the links to all these items I mentioned will be in the description down below. These softboxes provide a lot more light than what I was working with before, which I actually really need because I recently moved into a much larger room. So after setting up my lights, I get out my camera. And I've been switching between cameras lately, but what I'm working with right now is the Canon T5i or 700D depending on where you live with the Sigma 17-50 f2.8 lens. This camera might not be the sharpest, especially compared to some of the 4K cameras out there right now, but it's just so easy to use, and that's why I really love it. With that Sigma zoom lens, I'm able to get a variety of different shots, ranging from wide angles to close-ups, and since it's f2.8, I can still get some bokeh or that background blur in the shot. Now the tripod I've been using since I started my channel is the Dolica AX680 P104 which has actually been discontinued but I'll leave a link to another Dolica tripod that I recommend in the description. In my opinion, this is probably the best tripod available for under $100. It has sturdy aluminum legs that can hold a surprising amount of weight and I think it goes for just over $50, so it's a great deal. And on top of my tripod is my Manfrotto 502 fluid video head. I've messed around with probably four or five other video heads in the past, but none of them have really satisfied me, so I just decided to buy the 502, and even though it was very expensive, it comes in right around $200, I can definitely say that it was worth it for me. Now I never have to redo any shaky shots, which I used to have to do pretty often, and it's always perfectly smooth for pans and tilts on the first try. Then I set up my microphone that you can see here, the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti has been my go-to mic for over the past year because it's so easy to get good audio quality out of it. I actually don't edit the audio from this microphone at all, because it hardly makes any difference as the sound quality is already fantastic from the start. And by the way, I record all my audio into the free Audacity software. So after filming my A roll, I set up my table to get ready for B roll. B roll is actually really simple because of the Manfrotto 502. I can just set up the product that I want to shoot and pan or tilt the camera to get a good shot every time. I used to shoot b-roll directly on my desk but I've recently started using this table because I noticed the extra distance provides more of that blur in the background that adds a lot to the shot. Then I just import all my footage into Adobe Premiere to begin the editing process. So my edits are pretty standard, I don't really add too many transitions or anything fancy like that. But I do like to start some of my videos with a cinematic sequence that goes along with some sort of music. So to do this, I find some no copyright music from YouTube, download it, and import it into the project. Then I determine where the beats in the song are, and I create markers by pressing the M button so I can sync the video with the music. And once I'm done editing, the video is about 95% complete. All I have left to do is create a thumbnail, which is normally just a screenshot from a certain point in the video that I import into Photoshop, 
and throw some text on too. And the very last step of the whole process is just to upload it to YouTube and then I'm finally done. The whole thing for me normally takes probably anywhere from about 5 to 10 hours depending on the length of the video so it does require a lot more time than some people might think. So now you know the whole process I go through to make each and every one of these videos. And if you're a video creator like me, hopefully this video helped you with some tips or tricks that you might find useful. And if you have any tips for me, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for some more content coming soon. Thanks.